The Rocky Mountains provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the Buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see, the Cincinnati Bearcats taking on the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Bearcats will put total leather and will get started. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Buffaloes offense is on the field for the first time today. Here he comes and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right, they better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is gonna be a long day. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Look, as an offense, you're always going to take completions over incompletions and interceptions. So the offense, they're able to make that third down a little bit more manageable, but honestly, not by much. So already they've hit a speed bump on this opening drive. It's third and eight. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Get it out on the screen. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Buffaloes will bring the punt team onto the field. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. So the Cincinnati Bearcats offense will get the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play. Well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. The incompletion leads to second and ten. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Royer. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing. This offense looking at a third down after that last completion. They'll try to get it through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Johnson. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. Runs through a tackle. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The lone back's got it. And a decent gain there before the defense makes a stop. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. 
Offense breaks the huddle on third down. They'll try to run for it. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. That is a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting the backfield, making the play. On fourth down, looking to pass. A shot toward the end zone. Oh, he dropped it, and what a missed opportunity early in this football game. They thought they had a good plan, but it did not work. He's going to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Oh, man, did he turn that one loose and fired it into the teeth of the zone. And you know as a quarterback, Reese, when you're throwing it to the perimeter of the field on these curl routes, you've got to have some heat. You've got to have arm talent to get that ball out quickly into the hands of your receiver before all those defenders can get to it. Man, this QB's got a can. Going for it all. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Bucks. Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. You can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The give to the tailback. Dances away from one. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Now on second down. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. And the Bearcats get it past the sticks. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed in the middle. It's Henderson. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there, they're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Dropping back, it's Soresby. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Yeah, and sometimes the coverage is just great. And as a quarterback, you throw the football away or don't try to force it too tight into a window. And you just say, hey, that's one that well, good coverage. Couldn't find his man last time. And that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed over the middle. It's Royer. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. They're going to throw it again. Can't make the connection in the defense, putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. 
Well, he did a good job getting to the middle of the field. That's where the offense wanted to attack on that play. He's just got to do a better job looking that football in. After misfiring, it's second down. He's looking to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Well, that looked like it was going to be a completion, but how about the defender making the hit and forcing the incompletion? A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. And the Bearcats send out the punt unit. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. What a great job on that kick, bouncing it out of bounds inside the 10. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. To the ground with the back. After that one, not quite so backed up as they're up to the 18-yard line. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line. He'll do it himself. Tackle is made after the first down. This quarterback does an outstanding job in his preparation, watching film and understanding when he has to pull the ball on these types of run plays. Great job keying on the defender and quickly making the right decision to pull it and then go get north and get the first. Looking for space. It's Hayden. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong. And I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. The give to the back. Can't get him to the ground. And he slips the first defender and picks up a handful of yards. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Nice move there. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards, and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. And here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw, it's Sanders. He'll off one deep down the left side. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and 10 in the red zone. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming.
going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Rides to the back. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. Snap from the gun on third down. Touchdown, Colorado! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety. You get worried about that. But the offense puts a great drive together. Great job executing. Great job getting a touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. The option look. Nice job to keep it himself, find the first down marker, and move the change for this offense. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. They'll run it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Scanning the field, it's Soresby. He's got his man. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with a first down. Well, they execute the in route, and how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. And the Bearcats are marching down the field. Running it to the right. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Defense is about firing off hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. Grab behind the line. It's Turner. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. 
That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. Trying play action. Throws to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. Precision, execution, and timing to pick up the first down on the out route. I think you're spot on. Th those out routes, man, it's got to be about timing. you got to throw that football before he breaks. Nice job seeing it. Short yard situation, throwing the ball on the money so the receiver can get upfield and get the first down. Off play action on first down. Unleashes one deep. And that one is picked off in the end zone. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. You saw it on that last play coming away with them. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time and took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Might as well give it to him again. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there was just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. And as a result, they lose yardage. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. To the air, it's Sanders. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And, man, is that perfect timing. You can tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy, and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish the drive with a 64-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. They just look like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. They, they just haven't been playing collectively as a unit. And if I'm the head coach, I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some chances here. Caught in the backfield, it's Smith. Oh, sick, nasty move, and he's loose. 
He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. Lining up from the 34 on first down. They'll leave it with him. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Back to throw. It's Soresby. Starts to scramble to the left. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, this offensive coordinator has to be scratching his head because he's trying to keep his quarterback protected. He's trying different things, sliding the offensive line, keeping tight ends and running backs in, chipping, going empty, and getting the ball out quickly, but it's not working. They're just losing the one-on-one -on -one battles up front, and in the second half looking forward, I don't know if they're going to be able to fix it. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Chucked it away just as he was hit. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any timing between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up fourth. The Bearcats will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute it. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking for a crease. It's Hayden. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. On first down, here comes this offense. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Here's the handoff. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. They move the tight end all over. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. And stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense, showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. The Buffaloes will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking downfield, it's Soresby. Throws for the tight end. 
And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude. And you can tell they put the hit on him. And that ball came out and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. They try to pop a run on the draw. What a nice job on the ground, working his way ahead for seven yards and leaving them with fourth and short. They're about two yards away. The Bearcats will punt this one away. He'll bring it back. It's Horn. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. Well, it was a good throw. It was a good route. But it was the hit that forced that incompletion. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds his man, it's Hayden. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You gotta love that, on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion, whoop de doo You set up fourth and long, you're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. And that is just about a perfect punt as he pins them deep inside the 10-yard line. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. And just a great job by the defense being stout, right? That's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Looking to pass at Soresby. Looking down the middle. Holds it in. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball in the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill, but show that defense. You're, you, you will attack everywhere. Looking for room. It's Kiner. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. Running the option, it's Soresby. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. You know, as a quarterback, when you're doing this zone replay, you got to read that defensive end. If he crashes down hard inside to take the running back away, right away you know now you're keeping the football. Nice job by the quarterback. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And how about the timing of the linebacker on the blitz to get in the backfield and get the tackle for loss? Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when, when the Moses parts the Red Sea and the hole opens up and you go fill it. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. 
And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll run it again. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding him the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? The RPO, it's complete. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that they finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in the first half. They go to the draw. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. The gift to the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And now on third down after that last run. Looking to throw at Sanders. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. My goodness, this offense has got it rolling. They might put up a 50 burger. This defense, they don't have any answers right now. They're going to have to figure something out. And the Buffaloes will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Bucks! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, and it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. So a drive there of 85 yards. And they finish it off with the score from the four. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. 
Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Looking for a gap. It's Kiner. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to pass. It's Soresby. Pressure coming. He's going to take off. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up, and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and 10. He's taking the shot. And it's incomplete. Good play downfield by the DB. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football. No PI. Able to swat it away. Pass incomplete. The incompletion brings us to second and 10. He's looking to throw. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. And you see those balls in practice sometimes. They're just off the mark. And you don't, you don't know how to control it. You don't know what goes wrong. But sometimes QBs miss, and it's an incompletion. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Flushed out of the pocket. Still on his feet at the 45. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The Bearcats come to the line in the hurry up. To the air on first down. Throwing right. Intercepted. Takes it the other way. He's at the 40. He's at the 20. Touchdown, Colorado! The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the plays and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. He'll start this drive firing. Boy, they've been... Makes the grab on the right. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. They used the chunk play to cross midfield, and they've got it first and 10 just outside the 40. And the sophomore just a little too much on that one. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down a little bit. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Looking for a man. It's Soresby. And he throws another interception, his third of the night. Never had a chance to get rolling after the pick, but he gives him the ball in prime field position at the 40. Colorado 
has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They've been the height of efficiency here in the first half, David, and you've got to think they're going to try to click it right down the field here. When you're looking at your playbook and it's worked so well in the first half, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, Palmer, because it's been all gas. Oh, that's right. Strike while the iron's hot, too, before this defense gets to go in at halftime to potentially make some adjustments, show you some different looks in the second half. Whatever you've been doing, it's working. Keep it up. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. They'll snap it from the 34 on first and 10. He wants to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Hart. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. That last completion has him set up second and short. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Hart. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office, being able to execute, doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but his hold really strong. And the pressure gets there, and down he goes at the 18. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. The holder will spot it about 35 yards out. Between the uprights, it's good. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, yeoman's work so far today in Boulder, and welcome in to the halftime update. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas at Folsom Field. And the Buffaloes will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. First play from scrimmage here in the second half, and they'll keep it on the ground. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. Well, you wonder if one of the adjustments they made at halftime trailing in this game was to try and get the ground game established, David, and they're off to a good start here. Dang right. Stay patient. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to press. Just try to get scoring drives together. Don't abandon the run. So the offense accepts a penalty, and they'll get a little farther away from their own end zone. Back to pass, it's Soresby. And it's his fourth interception of the game. 
Just a really nice play. Not a lot on the return, but that's all right when you hand it to your offense at the 42. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say this guy's going to be getting a helmet sticker. That now his second interception of the game. He has just been lights out here today. Offense set on first down. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. The quick out. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside. And the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that cornerback be going the other direction. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to power their way ahead. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful bag. Well, they were able to get a field goal and put three points up on the board after getting that interception. You would like to have seen the offense do a little bit more with that possession and give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown. But listen, teams will take three points any way they can get. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind you. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Off the play fake. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. To the air, it's Soresby. Finds his tight end. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. How about that? Just really nice catch by the big tight end. Throwing those mitts up there, catching the football. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. That's a great job by the wide receiver, understanding where the first down marker is. Don't mess around. Don't run two yards short. Get to the first down, catch the football, move the sticks, and get an extra set of downs. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. From the gun, the running back looking for room. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Going to run it. It's Kiner. 
Some belief in that running game as they pick up five to the 35-yard line. Let him bust for a long one, but now the third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. Yeah, third and one, you know what time it is. It's about the big boys up front. You got to give me a little bit of space, a little crack. You just can't give up that penetration so my running back can fall forward just like that and get the first down. After an abysmal first half, goose egg on the scoreboard, the offense trying to find itself. It's first down. Pulls it and fires to the left. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. So after the first down run, here's second down. Now the play fake. Unleashes one. It's complete. He's run out of bounds after the big gain, and they are in business first and goal. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Quarterback on the keeper. Oh, he just handled it poorly, and it's a fumble. Oh, the fumble, and the defense got it. And a tremendous return on the play before he's brought down. What an outstanding job by that guy. Ball's on the ground, he finds it, he scoops it up, and he's not thinking, hey, I'm just going to go down, I'm going to go out of bounds. I'm trying to score. He's got a convoy. He's got people trying to help block for him. He ended up getting tackled, but not before going all the way to the other side of the field and now setting his offense up in great real estate. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. It's hard to have success on wide receiver screens when you're facing press man coverage because your blockers out front oftentimes can't pick them up and that receiver gets gobbled up as soon as he catches the pass. You saw it on that last play. They pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal to go situations, Palmer. You got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here. Just be smart with the football. Touchdown, Buffalo! And the pummeling has started. Game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You better change the address, do something different. On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. And after that last turnover, David, prime example, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it just puts you behind the eight ball. I mean, this offense has to do something. Put it together. You got a deficit, Palmer. You need some mojo. Something needs to go your way. At this point of the game, they've got to score touchdowns every time they have possession. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Oh 
They give it to him again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they're just trying to run the ball, but that time there was absolutely nowhere for the running back to go, and as a result, that's a tackle for loss. When you've already sent your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Trying to get to it. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are, play great pass defense, know what's coming, and get off the field. The Bearcats will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Looking for running room. He'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Got it in the middle. It's Horn. It's really easy to say the word RPO and say I'm going to run them, but you got to make those decisions and you got to make them fast. You can't get confused by all the craziness that's going on, by all the guys moving around or talking. Nice job by the quarterback staying in the moment, seeing it, throwing the slant, making sure he makes the right decision. On the run, it's Hayden. Tackled, but he has a first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Grab behind the line, it's Hunter. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Gets it out fast. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. That last catch puts him over 150 yards receiving on the day. Reese, this defense has no answer for this guy. It doesn't matter where he's lined up or what routes he's run or who's been covering him. They just can't stop him. The Buffaloes have their offense in high gear. And off from the shotgun. Oh, better check some ankles. He makes a move and gets down to the 24. I know the passing game sells. The passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll run it from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Maybe that stop is a good sign for this defense. Maybe the defense is starting to figure it out. Obviously, offense has been running the football with so much success. Something has to change. That was a good start. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. He's looking to pass. A little screen to the running back. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. A really nice day from this quarterback. Over 350 yards passing now, Jeff. He's had a plan all game long. He just seems to find his best matchups, and he's done an awesome job giving his guys opportunities to make plays. And the Buffaloes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Find his man down the middle. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. The run from the shotgun. Touchdown, Bucks! And the punishment has been extended. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. So that's a 59-yard touchdown drive, and it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. To the air, it's Soresby. Quick completion on the out. And he's down after the short completion. He did not make it to the first down marker. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. And the Bearcats will punt it away on fourth down. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Plenty of time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Hunter. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Leaves it with the running back. At the 45 on his way! And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. The clock is my friend. If I can do this late in the ball game with a lead and I can continue to run the football and they have no answers, well, then I'm going to walk away with a win. So, listen, I wouldn't change a thing. I'd keep pounding the football, keep running the clock. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Gets it out quickly. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Buffaloes line up to punt it away. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Now on second and short after the first down completion. 
He's looking to throw. Going over the top. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. They'll throw on third and short. Quickly out to the tight end. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yardage. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. Looking to throw at Soresby. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Here comes the offense on second down. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. They're bringing heat. Got it behind the line. It's Pryor. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working, though. With that last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. And the Bearcats with the first and 10. Dropping back, it's Soresby. And he'll chuck that one away and save the down. Nobody was able to get open. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. The incomplete pass leaves them with second down. The give to the back. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. And they have converted their first two third down opportunities, but this one a third and long. Give to the running back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And the field goal was good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit.
After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Nifty run there, pickup of six out to the 25. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. Gonna run it, it's Hayden. Dragged down at the 30 after a five yard gain. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Now on first down from the 30. The handoff as they run the counter play here. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. From the gun, running back on the move. At the 40, there he goes. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead, you want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. They're just imposing their will, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Give to the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Handoff to the single back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Buffaloes will try to pin them back with the punt. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Now inside four minutes to go here on second down. To throw, it's Soresby. Pocket starts to collapse. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. On third down, he drops to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays thrown the ball. And you got to wonder at this point, is it too little too late? 
Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back. Slips a tackle, and he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Yeah, another good run. I feel like we could put that on loop, Jesse. Just another good run. Another good run. Another good run. Over 150 yards on the day. He's been the complete package, showing off all his skills today. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. The give to the lone running back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. And the Buffaloes decide to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. Snagged in the middle, it's Royer. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over college football, short to intermediate. So if they can find some of this, it'll help their offense moving forward. Completion a little short of the sticks. It's second down. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Looking for a man. It's Soresby. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together, run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man, dialed in. You could tell they were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. They're trying to get to it. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Blast it as he lets it go. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Well, a lot of things haven't gone right for him. You saw an incompletion right there. It's been offense. It's been defense. They just haven't been able to click and get into a rhythm here. And now they're playing catch-up, and you know they're going to be throwing at each and every play here in the fourth quarter. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Final minute. This game's on ice. They can take a knee and run out the clock. This offense has to feel great with how they're able to go out, execute, and perform big plays all game long. I think it's sending a statement, too, to future defenses down the road on the schedule. They're going to be tough to contend with.
Yeah, I mean, they got firepower, putting up so many points. This thing is easily over. Now they can just chillax, go back to the locker room, know they're going to get the victory. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Right back to the well. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. 